The swerve. To deviate suddenly from the straight or direct course. Driving instructors tell us not to swerve for animals or manageable objects unless we know the lane is clear. Makes sense. You could miss the cat, but hit a transport truck, flip your car into a ditch, or drive into a tree. Better to kill an animal than to kill yourself, right? Swerving is the decision not to hit one thing and maybe hit something else instead. To deviate suddenly from the straight or direct course. That's the story of my life. I've been accused of self-sabotage. Things will be going fine, well, as expected, anyway. And then, for seemingly no reason, I'll jerk the wheel of my life and crash into something totally unexpected. I call that the swerve. I've been drawn to it since I was a kid. My dad called it tough fuckery. He stayed with the same company his whole adult life. Even died at work, sitting right in the very forklift he'd driven his first day on the job. Now that is Tom Fuckery. I've been working at this motel, the Yates Motel, I shit you not, for a year now. Training labor for a roof, a bed, and food. If you can really call it food. I'm done. I tried to write it out to build stability. It's a poisonous treadmill. Worse, maybe. So I'm jerking the wheel. In the immortal words of Led Zeppelin, it's time for me to ramble on. All right, let me run this back to you. You don't want her to see it coming. You don't want her to be afraid. It should look like an accident. There's no method of preference as long as it's quick and not too messy. You got cover everything? Hey, she's sick, I got it. You don't have to justify anything to me. You paid for a service, it's just business. Yeah, next month, Kate Belanger. You have the address to send the photo to? Good. My email's a burner. Yours can be traced back if you're a relative or close friend, which I don't want to know about. So, if that's everything, I'm going to let you go. It's been a busy day, and I can hear my exit music playing. All right, then. Goodbye.
trying to catch a ride for about three hours, so yeah, living the dream. How far are you headed? Don't know yet. Hop in. adventuring? Kind of. I just woke up tired of the never-ending routine of my life. I'm tired of feeling dead inside. So I decided to pack up and head out in search of the ghost of me. Uh, sorry, that was, that was weird. <laughs> no, no, I love that. <laughs> if there's one thing this world could do with less of, it's uninspired small talk. In fact, I think we should have a rule. No small talk. Right. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I tend to over romanticize everything. <laughs> My mom used to call me Anne Shirley because of it. <gasps> Anne of Green Gables. You know it? Of course. Cool. So, what's your story? <laughs> well, uh, I spent the last 10 years unhappily employed as a magazine editor, unhappily engaged, and unhappily barren. I had this issue that caused my usually unmotivated boyfriend to find the energy to start screwing a 22-year-old. So I rented a cottage on the French River and fucked off. Damn. Well, like I said, no small talk. It was a shitty deal, but now I'm just living in the moment. It's all I really have anyways. Time is just something we invented to tell us when to eat, sleep, and die. Here we are. It's a new cottage. Oh yeah? Yeah. My grandparents and I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. This is all new. I can feel the peace on my skin. Maybe it's just me. Nostalgia. Not just you. Some places just feel sacred. Sacred. That's perfect. It's a good place to find those ghosts of yours. Let's check it out. What bed do you want? I really want you to stay, even if it is just a plan your next move. Are you sure? I can't really contribute anything. Are you kidding? You are the salve to the wound of my loneliness. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no. I'm hiding my begging behind a facade of jokes. I really want you to stay. If you want to. If not, it's okay. Think about it. Come, on, let's check out the view. Wow, this place is really do come fully furnished, huh? No shit. 